And needless to say, the ongoing conflict has already created diplomacy camps across the globe. While a majority of the Western nations have backed Ukraine in its fight against Moscow's troops, some Kremlin allies like Belarus have supported Russia in this war. The latest Belarusian president, Alexander Lukashenko, has said that Russia should be ready to deploy nuclear weapons to counter West's global hegemony. Lukashenko made the statement during a one-on-one -on -one meeting with Russian Foreign Affairs Minister Sergei Lavrov in Minsk. Speaking alongside Lavrov, Lukashenko accused the West of promoting bias amid the ongoing war. But we have not yet done that, but we must be ready. The year 1941, you and I did not take part, but we have the historical memory. When we thought, believed, that is why we believe, but we must remain alert in all areas. Lukashenko has also given a stern message to former Soviet Union nations keeping their distance from Russia amid the conflict. Speaking at a forum on Sunday, Belarusian strongman called on post-Soviet countries to seek closer ties with Russia in order to preserve their sovereignty and independence. Today, the countries of the post-Soviet space should be sincerely interested in reapproachment with the Union state. Of course, they want to preserve their sovereignty and independence. We are convinced that only together can we face global challenges. Those who still have doubts should understand that without speedy unity and cohesion, strengthening of interstate ties and simply normal human relations, we may not exist tomorrow. Lukashenko's comments came as he met Russian President Vladimir Putin in Belarus as part of the ninth forum of regions of Belarus and Russia. The Western allies, meanwhile, continue to send military aid to Ukraine to aid in their fight against Russia. Biden's administration has also come up once again to provide more military assistance to Kyiv. The latest U.S. has announced that it will provide Ukraine with 820 million U.S. dollars in aid including new surface-to-air missile systems and counter-artillery radars. As part of the new package, U.S. will purchase two Norwegian-developed anti-aircraft system that is used to protect the airspace around the White House and Capitol in Washington. Pentagon will also provide Ukraine with up to 150,000 rounds of artillery ammunition. Meanwhile, Norway has now announced a $1 billion aid to Kyiv to help them revive 